Hi, my name is Carla. I am a registered nurse, and this lesson is gonna be talking about the five basic concepts that you should be able to master before you even enter nursing school. So the five basic concepts are going to be rounding, percentages and fractions, military time, unit conversions, and abbreviations. I will be making separate videos on each of these, but for now, I just wanna talk about the basics of each of these. So with rounding, there are three main basic things that you really have to understand. First, you will look at the place value chart. You will determine what they want you to round to. For example, if they want you to round to the hundreds place, you're gonna look at your hundreds place first. You need to find where that hundreds place is. What number from your value is in that hundreds place? After you do that, when it comes to rounding, the next step that you're going to want to do is decide what number is directly to the right of that value that they need you to round to. For example, in the hundreds, if they want me to round that to the hundreds place, I'm gonna look at the thousands place. I'm gonna look at the number in the thousands place to determine whether I will round up or down. So those are the three steps with rounding. First, find where in that value, place value chart your number is located. Next, look at the number directly to the right of it. And third, determine whether that number to the right of that number that you need to round to is gonna make you round up and make that hundreds value go up or whether you're going to round down. I'll go into more detail when I look at some rounding problems in another video. Let's take a look at the next concept. So the next concept is going to be fractions and percentages. When we're looking at fractions and percentages, it's very similar to looking at decimal points. It's just a different way of writing it. So with percentages, you might've seen this when you go shopping and you see blank percent off, 50% off. You might've also seen fractions maybe when you're looking at recipes and it says maybe half of a teaspoon. So these are the numbers that you also have to be able to understand. And the main ones that you really have to understand that I've seen most commonly are gonna be like one fourth, one half, three fourths, and then that whole number. Those are the ones I see most commonly pop up when we're looking at fractions and percentages. So one fourth would be the same as 25%, one half would be the same as 50%, and three fourths would be the same as 75%. So the next thing that is important for you to understand is military time. You might've seen military time maybe when you're setting up a new device and it asks you, do you want to put this as 12 H, meaning 12 hours, or 24 H, meaning 24 hours. 24 hours is the military time. So when you're looking at military time, we don't count from 12 p.m. to then 1 p.m. Instead, what we do is instead of going from 12 p.m., we go to 13. So we look at the hours in the day as a whole 24 hour period. So you're gonna be focusing on counting from 1200, which is the same as 12 p.m., to then 1300, all the way till you get to midnight, which we would then calculate as 0000. zero, zero, zero. And with military time, it's important to understand that you don't add AM or PM. It's important to understand that there's gonna be four numbers. It's either gonna start with zero, one, or two. For example, 11 PM would be the same as 2300. And midnight would be the same as, like I said earlier, four zeros, zero, 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 zero. So that's important to know with military time. So with military time, you're gonna to have to be able to know to convert either to military time or from military time to standard time. And again, we're gonna do this in a whole separate video, understanding military time practice problems. But let's take a look at the next concept for now. So the next one we're gonna be looking at is unit conversions. So the important things to know when you're doing unit conversions is knowing that you can only convert weight-based to weight-based units and fluid-based to fluid-based units. What I mean by that is, for example, if you're converting pounds to another value, I can only convert pounds to, for example, kilograms, because kilograms is another weight-based unit, as is pounds. I cannot convert pounds to, for example, milliliters, because milliliters is a fluid-based unit. So the important thing first to know with unit conversions is knowing that weight-based convert to weight-based and fluid-based convert to fluid-based. So some fluid-based examples are gonna be milliliters, liters, ounces, whereas your weight-based are gonna be pounds, kilograms, grams, milligrams, micrograms. So that's the first thing you need to understand with unit conversions. The next thing is gonna be a little bit more memorization. For example, you need to know how you can convert them. Am I going to multiply or am I going to divide? Because that's what you do with unit conversions. You are either going to multiply or divide. And then you have to know by what. For example, if I wanna convert liters to milliliters, I know that one liter is the same as one 
thousand milliliters. So this is where a little bit of memorization comes in. I know that one kilogram is the same as 2.2 pounds. So first you have to know that weight-based can only convert to weight-based and fluid-based can convert to fluid-based. And then you have to do some memorization where you know how much is equivalent to how much. So this would be like that one kilogram to 2.2 pounds. One kilogram is the same as 2.2 pounds. That's the next important thing with unit conversions. And we can do some practice problems for unit conversions. Right now, we're just talking about the basic concepts, things that you really have to understand. The next basic concept that you're going to have to understand is abbreviations. So for example, let's look at those unit conversions that I mentioned. With abbreviations, you're gonna notice that you have maybe one or two or even three letters for the most part. You'll see that it's abbreviated in that form. And with unit conversions, you're gonna know, for example, that you need to convert kilograms to write it down to kg. That is your abbreviation, that letter K with the G. That means kilograms. You need to know, aside from unit conversions, you might need to know other conversion, I'm sorry, other abbreviations as well. So for example, let's say that I need to give a patient a medication twice a day. So instead of the doctor writing twice a day, they might have in the doctor's order written B-I-D. B-I-D means twice a day. So these are other abbreviations that you really have to understand. With abbreviations, it's more so memorization, but there are a few little tricks and little fun ways of memorizing these abbreviations. So we talked about the five basic concepts. Again, rounding, we talked about percentages and fractions, we talked about military time, we talked about unit conversions, and we talked about abbreviations. And I'm gonna go into each of these concepts in a different video, but for right now, I just really need you to understand the basics of each of them the rounding, the basics, like I said, knowing the place value chart, knowing how to do the rounding. With the percentages and fractions, it's really more so understanding the concept. It's gonna help when you see it visually. With military time, again, understanding the concept that military time, instead of continuing to 1 p.m., it would continue to 1300, all the way to midnight, and where it would be 0000. With your unit conversions, the main things that you need to understand are gonna be weight-based to weight-based and fluid to fluid-based, and then just a little bit of memorization. And with abbreviations, finally, it's more so memorization than anything. If you have any questions on any of these five basic math concepts that you really have to understand for not only your nursing math problems and tests, but throughout nursing school, please message me below, and you can also check out my other videos.